Hello everyone, I am Julian Morris with the Channel 5 News. In the headlines, Dominica's foreign affairs minister reassures the Chinese community the perpetrator of Tuesday's murder of a Chinese national in Picard will be brought to justice. The Dominica trade union leader Bernard Nicholas says there is consensus among trade unions for the introduction of an agency fee. And the Cocoa Cluster project moves into implementation stage. The details coming up. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. The Minister for Foreign Affairs, Honorable Kenneth Daru, has reassured the Chinese community here that those responsible for the murder of a Chinese businessman in Picard on Tuesday night will be apprehended and brought to justice. 49-year-old Zing Jian Yong, described as a friendly man, was shot dead at his business place in Picard late Tuesday night. It was with intense sadness and concern that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, International Business and Diaspora Relations learned of the shooting death of a Chinese national resident in Portsmouth. Subsequent to this, a meeting was convened with the officials of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China to express condolences on behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and by extension, the government and people of the Commonwealth of Dominica. As one can imagine, this is indeed a sad time for the family and friend of the victim the entire Chinese community resident here in Dominica, and of course all Dominicans who have enjoyed peaceful coexistence with our Chinese brothers and sisters for many years. Minister Daru noted that the tangible results of 16 years of diplomatic relations between both countries can be seen across the country. The government of the Commonwealth of Dominica acknowledges the People's Republic of China and all its citizens as true friends, and clearly what transpired must be seen as an unfortunate but isolated in incident and I would like to reassure all Chinese nationals who have settled into our local communities that Dominica still remains one of the safest places in the world to live and work and we will continue to be each other's keeper. At this point, we would like to express our solidarity with the government and people of the People's Republic of China as they continue to battle the human coronavirus currently afflicting certain parts of the country. But we are confident that this great nation will emerge victorious. We would also like to reaffirm our unconditional commitment to the One China policy and to state clearly and unapologetically that we stand firm with them through thick and thin and that we are not fear weather friends. I repeat, we are not fair weather friends. Let me also take this opportunity to wish the government and people of the People's Republic of China a happy new year as they celebrate the commencement of the Chinese New Year and hope that this year, the year of the rat, brings about good fortunes and much prosperity. There were unconfirmed reports on Wednesday that the Chinese national, a restaurant owner in Picard, may have been the victim of a robbery. In other news now, Dominica is now in the implementation phase of its Cocoa Cluster project. Andrea Louis reports. The project, which started in 2008, sought to develop strategies and linkages to position Dominica's cocoa product to improve its quality and quantity on the regional and international markets. During a stakeholder consultation on Thursday, General Manager of the Dominica Export-Import Agency, Dexia, Gregoire Thomas, said now is the opportune time to maximize on Dominica's cocoa product. We started from about 2008 
and we have continued doing work looking at how it is that we can expand and develop the cocoa sector. I believe we have now an excellent opportunity with the collaboration and the support of donors like Compute Caribbean to make cocoa a flagship, make it a model that we can use with the other crops, the other crops that we provide support to and help to build in, in, in the, let's look at um, the livelihoods, how do we improve the economic livelihoods of rural people. Annie Bertrand is the project officer with Create Caribbean, which is partnering with Dexia on the Cocoa Cluster project. The first phase of the program um, was completed in 2017 and it was very successful. And why was it successful? Because it achieved the objectives that was set for, which is increasing jobs, increasing revenues and increasing exports. So therefore, the donors decided to recreate, to have a second phase of the program, which started uh, um, not long after that for five years. So this is, it has essentially the same objectives. We are always trying to find increased revenues and jobs uh, for the Caribbean people. Um, but in the second phase, we also have greater emphasis on climate change and uh, women-owned firms and women employment. Bertrand says Dominica does have a competitive advantage over other countries, which can see this cluster project being very successful. Dominica has, uh, as we heard before, and as you all know, has a, a global competitive advantage just for the fact of the beans that we can grow here and the climate and the genetic uh, quality of the beans uh, makes it as a as a competitive advantage. The second uh, idea also is that uh, there was clear evidence at that time that the government of Dominica was committed to that sector. So there was this promise of putting into production 300 acres of land and also that the planting materials would be provided as well as the input required to make sure that it's successful. So that illustrated that we can then build on the existing effort and interest of the country and bring technical assistance to make it uh, better and, and, and more competitive, focusing on quality. The Cocoa Cluster project is funded by Compete Caribbean to the tune of $200,000. On the health scene, the head of the World Health Organization appealed on Wednesday for $675 million to boost international measures to counter the new coronavirus epidemic. This as deaths from the outbreak neared 500. Speaking in Geneva, the head of the WHO said the latest data indicated 24,363 confirmed infections in China and 490 deaths from the respiratory disease, which was declared on 31st December. He said, quote, in the last 24 hours, we had the most cases in a single day since the outbreak started, 3,925 new cases globally. And back here at home, the Dominica Amalgamated Workers' Union is reporting satisfactory progress on negotiations with the National Bank of Dominica. Dow's General Secretary Leah Schillingford says it has been long in coming, but progress is being made. The long outstanding uh Two triennials, that is 2012 to 2015 and 2015 to 2018, were signed on December 5, 2019. The current, which is ongoing, that is 2018 to 2021, um, is almost completed. We do have uh, three outstanding matters to be discussed, and that is salaries, uh, hours of work, and uniforms. Pro progress on this uh, negotiation is uh, satisfactorily ongoing and we hope to conclude uh, um, very soon. Uh, so we do want to say that um, much progress has been made. What has taken almost uh, seven years is almost completed and we thank God for that. Schillingford says the NBD has informed the union of its purchase of the Royal Bank of Canada. She says once the acquisition is completed, NBD will again inform the union, paving the way for further discussions. You are watching Channel 5 News. We'll have more after this. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. 
A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. General Secretary of the Dominica Trade Union says there is consensus among trade unions here that the agency fee should be introduced. The agency fee is charged to non-union employees at a workplace that has union representation. That fee is intended to compensate the union for benefits which are collectively bargained for that the non-union employee will receive. Bernard Nicholas says unions in Dominica are in solidarity on that issue. But the issue of the agency fee has been around for quite some time, at least the discussion surrounding it, but no concrete action has been taken to get it implemented. When I came back to Dominica in 1977, we had meetings while the trade unions, there were only four unions then, the Dominica Trade Union, the WAO, the DAO, and the CSA. And these four unions, of course, we form an umbrella organization called the Joint Trade Union uh, Steering Committee. And that union, that body was very powerful. It was like a Congress, except it was an ad hoc, but we all understood what our role was. Nicholas says what the unions do on behalf of workers is considered work as well, and for that they should be compensated. We were not just asking for uh, uh, an agency fee, our reason for that is everybody who works has a right to get paid. The unions are working on behalf of their members in a bargaining unit. They ask for better conditions, working and um, wages and so on, holidays and so on, for their members. But according to the law, you cannot negotiate only for your members. You negotiate on behalf of all the people in that unit. We have no problem with people deciding, exercising their rights under our constitution, freedom of choice and so on, and movement, the right to belong to or not to belong to a trade union. But what we are saying is, you are in the bargaining unit. You are free not to join the union. You are also free not to accept the increases that we fought hard for. But you accept it. You accept it. We fight for you when you will not fight for yourself. And you want to enjoy those benefits. In fact, many times, whilst we are fighting for you, you are fighting against us. And when we succeed, you are enjoying it, like, and you are saying that you are not paying. So what, the, what, we, what we did is, um, what I recommended is that the Dominica Trade Union proposes an amendment to Chapter 8901, Section 76 of the Industrial Relations Act to include, after the word assessment, right, the words and agency fee deductions equivalent to the equivalent to the dues from unionized employees. The Dominica Trade Union, which Bernard Nicholas heads, was founded in 1945 by Emmanuel Christopher Loblack. It's affiliated with the International Trade Union Confederation. Dominican students and young professionals called on to take advantage of Commonwealth scholarships. Andrea Louis has more. These scholarships are funded by the UK Department for International Development, DFID, with the aim of contributing to the United Kingdom's international development aims and wider overseas interests. Dominica's Commonwealth Scholars Alumni Association was recently created to provide a space for all Dominicans who have benefited from the Commonwealth scholarships to give back to society. Coordinator of the association, Joanne George, would like to see more publicity given to the scholarships so that more people can benefit from the program. We believe that, for one, the number of Dominicans who have benefited is too low. 
from since we got our first scholarship in 1960. Also, there's a lack of awareness of the scholarship itself when the advertisements come out, because through the Ministry of, Edu of Education, people seem not to know that the, the scholarship is available, although it is put out there. Because when I got my scholarship, I saw it in the newspaper, because I was looking at the time. But in terms of the actual awareness, building awareness, that's hardly done. So we want to be the body within Dominica that would let people know where yes, the scholarship is coming up and you should apply and so on, what the steps you need to take. George says another objective of the association is to enhance the beneficiary's profession even after completing a degree program. The Alumni Association was formed for all Dominicans who have benefited from the Commonwealth Scholarship. We have some who have gotten diplomas, scholarships to pursue diplomas, um, masters and PhD through the Commonwealth Scholarship Program. For those of us who have already benefited, what we want to do is to establish an academic and professional body where Commonwealth scholars can go further in research, be part of academic presentations and so on, enhance your professional let's say, personality, persona, even after completing your degree. From the, scholarship. the Commonwealth Alumni Association was officially launched in Dominica in January 2020. Andrea Louis, Channel 5 News. And seven young Calypsonians go after the title of Junior Monarch on Friday. Reigning Monarch Malik Daru, the examiner of SMA, will be defending his title against six competitors. The Junior Monarch competition is being organized by the Leo Club of Dominica. Number one, from the Wesley High School, we have Toro Daru. Her stage name is The Essence, and her song is entitled Bring Back GSP, written by Ian Jackson. We have contestant number two from the St. Mary's Academy, Adrian Piper. His song is entitled It's Over, and song written by Ian Jackson. We have Number three from the St. John's Academy, Susan Peter, and a song is entitled My Pledge by Fitzroy Hillyton. And we have Jaden John Baptist, his stage name is DJ, from the Dominica Grammar School. And his song is entitled The Lost Boys, written by Pat Aaron. And we have Nalia George, stage name Nali G of the St. Martin Primary School. Her stage name is, her song is entitled, sorry, Children Nowadays, song written by Jame Fountain and Nalia George herself. The other competitors are Karina Ordain from the Convent High School and reigning junior monarch Malik Daru of St. Mary's Academy. The Leo Club Vice President says the club is facing financial challenges in executing this show and implores the public and private sector to support youth in Calypso. I want to use this opportunity to inform our business, private and local sectors to come on board to assist with financial assistance because we have been putting these shows for a numerous, numerous years and this year we have been struggling with financial sponsorship. So we want to urge our business those listening to my voice right now via the radio and Facebook, if you can come on board to sponsor our show. The Junior Monarch competition is scheduled for the 7th of February at 5.30 p.m. at Carnival City. <music> to end the news, a look again at the headlines. Dominica's Foreign Affairs Minister reassures the Chinese community the perpetrator of Tuesday's murder of a Chinese national in Picard will be brought to justice. The Dominica trade union leader Bernard Nicholas says there is consensus among trade unions for the introduction of an agency fee. And the Cocoa Cluster project moves into its implementation phase. You may access the news on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production team, I am Julian Morris. Thank you for watching. Join us tomorrow.